did that dull wander off? Or did the warlocks grab him? Oh, Hades forbid his enormous clutches. Timmy! <laughs> Timmy's afraid! <laughs> Why, well, you should be, you overstuffed imp. It's trick out time for you and Tabitha! Hey, what are you still doing here? How come you're not searching with the others? Oh, Reese, I... Hey, what is it? I was just so scared I, I couldn't be out in the woods by myself. I just really didn't want to be by myself. Um, Reese, can you just hold me, please? I just want you to hold me. Oh, my sweet Kay. Charity. 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 Come to us. We want to help you. Come, Come to, to us. us. Hold me, Reese. Come, Come to us. To us. Come to us. Come to us. Come to us. How's that, my sweet? Perfect. You're so strong and manly and smart, too. Sometimes I forget just how smart you really are. Come to us, charity. We have things to tell you. So many secrets. Come to us, Charity. Come to us. Ivy, what are you doing here? The evening mass ended a while ago. Well, then what are you doing here, Pilar? I help tend to the garden. Oh, well, your selflessness seems sanctimonious when you question my motives for being here. Ivy, <laughs> I know you better than anyone. You say that I'm your only friend, the only person you can confide in. Now tell me, what are you doing here at this hour? I told you Hastings was a fake. You heard Father Mike. He married every couple at St. Anastasia's in Hartford back then. And he told you he didn't recognize you or Hastings. It's true. I, I don't remember either of you. Which means that you were never married to this... this creep. I don't know what your game is, but it's over. You are finished. I'm... I'm sorry, Sam. But it's not over for David and me. Sheridan can't be dead. She can't be. I'm sorry, I, I need to go help the captain secure the boat before the hurricane hits. Oh, Louise will be all right, won't he? I don't know, miss. And like the captain said, we saw an explosion. By the time we got to your brother's boat, all we saw was debris. We found Louis in pretty bad shape. Pulled him on board to take him ashore, but he kept on diving back in the water to find his girlfriend, Sheridan. No, wait, wait. Are you sure there was no sign of her? If the explosion didn't get her, she has to have drowned in the rough seas churned out by the storm. I'm sorry, but Sheridan has to be dead. No, it can't be.
<laughs> That's right, Tiny Tim. Get that hag you hang out with over here. Oh. Ah, this pit I dug should do the trick. It's deep enough to keep wise imp Timmy and big mouth Tabitha from climbing out. <laughs> What's Mama covering the hole? Someone might fall in by accident. Well, now I know why Tabitha calls you batting for brains. I'm covering the pit so your dear old princess doesn't see it. When she comes looking for you and finds you tied up to the tree, oh, she's gonna run to your rescue, but she won't get to you because she'll fall into the pit instead. That's mean! Oh, well, then I'll toss you in to keep her company. That's mean, huh? Miss Big Mouth Lennox. Oh, she'll be sorry she ever called me stupid. I'm as smart as a whip, aren't I, Father? You're the smartest little girl in the whole wide world. And you're gonna prove it by killing Tabitha and her toy boy. No! Jimmy! Jimmy, where are you? Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, no! Puts his head straight for a hole in one! <laughs> Please. 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 Someone get a doctor. I'll, I'll get somebody. I'll get somebody. Look, you, you said she's dead. But did you did you find her body? No, but like I say, if the boat exploding didn't get her, she must have drowned. But, I mean, what kind of explosion was it? I mean, did the boat hit something? Was it the engine? I mean, wh wh where was she? I mean, did you find anything that belonged to her? Ethan, listen, slow down. Look, I know you're upset, but give the guy a chance to tell us what happened. I'm sorry, I've told you everything I know. The only reason the captain and I knew about Sheridan was because Louise kept diving back in the water to look for her. He loves her like crazy. Am I supposed to get married? Look, man. Is there any chance, I mean, any chance at all that Sheridan's still alive? I don't see how. The captain and I searched the area where we found Louise. We saw debris, but no sign of Sheridan. Why, why didn't you call for help? We wanted to, but our radio was down. In the end, all we could do was to try to save Louise. Where's the doctor? Teresa, hurry. Oh, please, please hurry. You have to save my brother. You, you can't let him die, okay? Hey, just give me that. Mission accomplished, Mr. Crane. We blew up the boat as ordered. Uh, Luis may live, but uh, we took out Sheridan for sure. Sad but necessary job well done. Pity my poor sister had to pay the ultimate price. Better she than me. Answer me, Ivy. What are you doing here at this hour? And don't pretend that you've suddenly found religion. Uh, Bilar, I have no reason to lie to you. I just came to leave these flowers on the altar. Really? Yes, really. Look, I, I felt bad when I crashed into the church on the day that Ethan and Teresa were going to get married, and I thought perhaps I ought to leave flowers on the altar every now and then. And is that so sinister? Well, the flowers are pretty, but that's not why you brought them. Excuse me? Do you honestly believe the Lord will accept those flowers in exchange for breaking up Sam's marriage? Pilar! God does not accept bribes, Ivy. And you should be ashamed of yourself for even offering one. Now wait just a minute, Pilar. I gave up on Sam. Even though he and I were once deeply and passionately in love. So you said. And I meant it. Pilar, I finally realized that Grace and Sam have a rock-solid marriage and that there was no place in Sam's life for me. And then out of the blue, David Hastings came into town. Yes, he did, and that has changed everything. God help us all. Pilar, if David Hastings married Grace before the eyes of God, then they belong together. And if they belong together, then Sam is free. And if Sam is free, is it so wrong for me to hope that maybe we could be together? I'm sorry, no. Until David Hastings gives up, I am not going to give up. Grace. What do you, what do you 
you mean it's not over between you and David? Father Mike doesn't remember seeing you or Hastings, much less marrying you. Sam, I just can't say it's over until I am 100% certain that I wasn't married to David. Or it'll haunt me the rest of my life. Grace, honey, be sensible. Now, if Father Mike's name is on your marriage license and he says that he didn't marry you, then you are not married. Somebody must have forged a signature. Exactly. <sighs> Sam, what are you doing? I'm putting Mr. Hastings here under arrest. Charge, kidnapping my wife. Charity, we need your help. There are secrets we must tell you. Things we must warn you about. What things? We will tell you everything, but you must come to us. You have the power to help us. No, I don't have any power. Yes, you do. Now come to us. We will tell you about the girl who'll take Miguel from you. What girl? Well, I know a lot of things about a lot of things. Things that I haven't told you yet. Well, why don't you tell me, Reese? Tell me what you know. Well. An attorney will be appointed for you without charge before questioning. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Hank, call the station house. Have them bring over a squad car to take in Mr. Hastings. Sam, I wish you wouldn't arrest David. I need to know for certain that I wasn't married to him, and with him being in jail, it's going to be so much harder. Grace, honey, what else is there to know? Until now, the only proof that you had that Hastings was your husband was his say-so. Some forged documents and his so-called memories of things that any good detective could have found out for him. And now, for the first time, you supposedly have an eyewitness to your marriage. Hastings thought that he could con Father Mike into saying he officiated at your wedding. Now, people can lie, but the church can't. Father Mike told you he never married you and David. Now what more proof do you want? David Hastings is nothing but a con. What his game is, I don't know, and I don't care. I just want him out of our lives. I'll take him outside, wait for the squad car. Maybe this will help you. Grace was very fond of a small side chapel at St. Anastasia's, the one with an angel statue. We have such a chapel. She wanted to be married there. People are married in that chapel from time to time. What does this prove? Nothing, that's what. Anyone can make up that story. Try to remember, Father. Try to remember pronouncing us husband and wife under the eyes of God in that small chapel. Your sister was a sweetheart, Mr. Crane. I talked to Sheridan while Basil reset the timer for the... for the bomb. She was crazy about Louise. So happy and in love. Oh, candid, cheap sentiment. Joan, we did our job. Sheridan's dead. Now, uh, when do we get paid? Once they cart Louise off and clear the beach. Yes, hello, Shore Patrol. Now listen, a woman is missing off the shore of the Bermuda Pavilions Resort. No, send a rescue boat fast. He's coming too. I'll need to examine him at the hospital. No bones appear to be broken. He's been badly shaken and lost a fair amount of blood. Luis. Take it easy. What are you doing here? We'll explain later when you're stronger. Just relax. Sharon. 
Where is Sharon? Just, just stay calm. Save your strength, okay? You, you've been hurt. We're gonna take, take, take you to the hospital. Just relax, please. This morning I'm going to a damn hospital. Please. Oh. please. Wait. Tell me where Sharon is. I'm sorry. We searched as long as we could, but there was no sign of her anywhere. Listen, you Sheridan is out there. I know that she is. We have to. We've got to find her, guys. Look, just tell us what happened, all right? It will lead us to her. I was, I was getting out of the water, back into the boat. I heard Sheridan scream out my name, and I started forward to see what was wrong. The boat exploded before I could get to her. Sheridan's out there somewhere, and we have to save her. Look, Teresa. We can't get married now. I have to go try to find Sheridan. You understand, don't you? Of course I do, Ethan. Okay. But you know, uh, when you stopped the wedding before, you said you had something important to tell me. What was it? I've been doing research on the perfect kiss. It starts... You know what, Reese? Why don't you tell me a little bit more about that legend? You know, the one with the girls that were in love with the same guy, and one of the premonitions ends up dying and the other girl gets the guy? Well, that's pretty much it. Now about that kiss. Um, actually, I wanted to know, did the girl and the guy end up living happily ever after? <clears throat> Uh, you know, the legend, the legend doesn't really say, but I suppose the boy grieved over the girl who died for a while, and then he hooked up with the girl who didn't die. That's what I was thinking. Kay, why are you so worried about these legends all of a sudden? Oh, wait. I bet I know. You do? Yeah. You have such a sweet heart. Probably the girl with the premonitions who died reminds you of Charity. It's a good thing Charity doesn't have to worry about some girl stealing Miguel away from her. <laughs> what girl is going to take Miguel away from me? Think, Charity. You have the power to know and see all. Just as you saw that Teresa would make a mistake that would destroy her, and she did. Are you saying that I can see into the future? You saw Teresa's fate coming. You have the power to see everything coming. Everything. <laughs> Why did you stop our wedding? What did you want to tell me? I had a terrible feeling that something was wrong. And I was... It was definitely not the right time for us to be married. 
I, I trust you, Teresa. I trust you with my whole life. I've got to try to save Sheridan's. <coughs> I'm coming. No, Luis, look, you better get yourself to a hospital like the doctor said, all right? I'll go with Ethan. To hell with the damn hospital. What good is my life without Sheridan? I, I can't in good conscience allow you to go out on a rescue mission. Look, it's my call. I'll get myself to a hospital when I know that Sheridan's okay. Julie! I was just saying a prayer for poor Sheridan. But why haven't you organized a search and rescue party? There's a hurricane coming, Ethan. I, I, I don't want to put people's lives at risk. But she's your sister. I mean, if, if we don't do something, she might die. You heard the local. The sad truth is, Sharon is no doubt already dead. And to endanger more lives by heading out onto the open sea, the hurricane fast approaching is, is both foolhardy and pointless. I'm going. So am I. Count me in. What about you, Julian? Are you coming or not? No matter what happens between David and Grace, you must leave Sam alone. Sam loves Grace, Ivy, and he always will. <laughs> Pilar, without Sam, I have nothing. I mean, Julian has probably already divorced me. Ethan is going to marry Teresa. God knows my other children never want to come home. Is it just, is it so wrong for me to hope for a little happiness now that there's just a chance I might have Sam again? Now, people can lie. It sounds like Sam's voice. What's he doing in the church this late? Take a good look at his father. Do you remember marrying us? I'm sorry, but your faces don't ring a bell. Of course you don't remember, Father, because you've never seen any of these people before. You know, Sam, I am beginning to think you're right. If the priest had married David and me, he'd remember us. I mean, I, I, I don't know about David, but I really haven't changed that much in the last 20 or so years. Maybe this will jog your memory. Grace was wearing a simple white dress and a hat with a broad brim. Oh, enough of this nonsense. You're trying to browbeat Father Mike into remembering something that never happened. Now, I'm sorry, Grace, but this man belongs in jail. Will you give up now? Sam and Grace are still married, and they will always be married. There will never be a place for you in Sam's life. Um, so do you do you believe my theory about Tabitha? Uh-huh. You do? You believe she's a witch too? Who's a witch? What? Have you seen Timmy anywhere? I can't find him. No, did you put him down somewhere? No. Or did he get up and just walk away? Not now, Ross. I'm telling you, that doll is alive. You call it. Uh, what about Norma? Have you seen her? Oh, well, perhaps Charity can help me. Where is she? Oh, Charity! Oh, I'm supposed to be keeping an eye on Charity! Oh, no. She's gone. Yeah, don't worry about it, Reese. She's probably just with Miguel somewhere. Don't worry! How can I not worry? She said she was hearing voices in the flames. The warlocks. I bet you do know all about the warlocks, don't you, Tabitha? Excuse me. I have to find Timmy. I'm telling you, Kay, that little doll is alive, and that woman is a witch. Timmy! Timmy! Timmy, where are you? Over here! Stay where you are, lad. I'll come and get you. Oh, no, and I'll get yeah. you, Tabitha. Thanks to my little helper here. Oh, Timmy. Timmy, this is just as Father and I planned it. You've lured Tabitha into my trap. Well, you're obviously too scared to risk your own life to save Sheridan's. So just, just get us a boat so we can rescue her. I saw the head of hotel security. I'll have him take you out. Basil! 
I want you to take these gentlemen out on a boat to look for my sister. Just make damn sure that they don't find Sheridan alive. It wasn't part of the deal. Besides, a hurricane's moving in. I'll double your money. Just make sure they don't find her alive. Deal. Boys! Mr. Crane told me how important this is. Let's get a move on. Please, are you sure you're up for this? All I care about is finding Sheridan. I know that this is something that you have to do, but, but it scares me. I mean, Louise, it's, it is dark, and there's a hurricane coming. We're gonna be okay, all right? Sheridan's gonna be okay. She's got me. Come on, all right. Wait, you, please be careful. I mean, I will die a million deaths until you come back. Now look, you've tried every trick in the book. But you can't convince Father Mike of something that never happened. Now, against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you a choice. Jail, or the first plane out of Harmony. And what's it gonna be? Time's up. I'm taking you to jail. Let's go. Grace. Was your hair always that color? I don't know, Father. No, it wasn't. You tried coloring it at home before the wedding. But it wound up blonde, and you were so upset you bought that hat from a street vendor on the way to the church. After we got married, we laughed about the fact that we almost missed getting married by hair. It, it, it's coming back to me. Uh, your hair color was like the hair of an angel in a Leonardo da Vinci painting. It was? I can see it now. You held out for the side chapel with the angel statue. What did I tell you? We are husband and wife. Hair coloring. And a side chapel don't constitute proof of marriage. The only thing you've done is trick this priest into believing that he officiated at your wedding. Well, if you can answer my next question, it'll prove that he married Grace and me. to go help rescue Sheridan if you don't want to. Well, would you think more of me if I didn't go? If I was a coward like Julian Crane? No, 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 of course not. It's just that it's so dangerous. And, um, no one would think any less of you if you didn't go. Yeah, well, Ethan's going, so I'm going. And besides, you know I like saving ladies in distress. Will you just keep yourself in one piece for me, okay? If I don't come back, will you miss me? Of course I'll miss you. you because Simone thinks that you're her boyfriend and uh, she'll be devastated if you don't come back. Yeah. Simone. Chad. Will you please be careful? Devastated if you don't come back. Uh, don't worry about me, all right? I'm not gonna let anything happen to me or anyone else. And once we find Sheridan and bring her back, the four of us are gonna walk into that wedding chapel. 
We're gonna get married. But Ethan... No, no, look. Forget about scanning my mother's letter into your computer. Forget about not telling me I wasn't a crane. Forget about asking Julian to take me back into the family. I don't give a damn about those things. All I care about is marrying you. Nothing is gonna stop us next time. This will prove once and for all that we're married. I'm gonna ask him about your ring finger. Your cat scratched your hand in the morning of our wedding. You put a bandage on your ring finger. And when it came time for me to slip the ring on, I couldn't fit it on because of the bandage. Father Mike, you remember the color of Grace's hair at our wedding. But do you remember anything else? Anything different? Something about one of her hands, maybe? I have a feeling my future rests on whatever that priest says. I hope he cannot answer David's question. Pilar? Sam and Grace have had a long and happy marriage. They have weathered all the problems that have been threatened by it. They deserve some peace. This is getting us nowhere. And so what if Father Mike remembers what? The but color of Grace's nail polish? Let that doesn't mean that you were married to her. Let him think. If he doesn't remember, I'll stop trying to prove what is true. But if he does remember, well then Grace will know without a shadow of a doubt that he married us. I remember now. Grace's ring finger had a small bandage on it. Her wedding ring wouldn't fit over it. She had to take off the bandage so you could slip on the ring. This is ridiculous. No, Sam. That is exactly the story that David just told me. It's true. Everything he said is true. Go. David and I must be husband. Wife. Oh. about Charity. I mean, Miguel asked me to keep an eye on her. I mean, what if she's not with Miguel? What if, what if something terrible has happened to her? What could possibly have happened? By order of probability, any number of things. I mean, she could be lost or hurt or, or the warlocks could have gotten her. Reese, you don't really believe in warlocks, do you? <laughs> you bet I do. They're real. Tabitha admitted it and she's a witch, so she should know. I'm sure Charity's just fine. I hope so. Because if the Warlocks really have returned to Warlock Island, we could be in super trouble. Supernatural trouble. Come into our cave, Charity. Join us. No. Leave me alone. I want to be with my friends. We are your friends, Charity. If you help us, we will help you. How? We will tell you secrets. So many secrets. Come, Come to, to us, Charity. Charity. Come to us. I'm sorry it took a while, but I remember everything now, the entire ceremony. 
Under the eyes of God, I married Grace and David at St. Anastasia's Church in Hartford. I hope I've been of service to you. I remember you both being so happy and in love. Oh my God. If a priest remembers Grace and David's wedding, then they must really be husband and wife. What an unbelievable mess. <laughs> Poor Sam and Grace. The turmoil this puts their marriage in. <laughs> what marriage? This is the one I have been waiting for. Sam is free. He's free to be mine again. At long last, Grace, you have the proof. We are husband and wife. Too soon. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! He's gone. Don't let me lose her. 